Hello everyone, this is Abigail from A Beautiful Day to Learn and nandito tayo para pag-usapan natin yung research methods. So maaaring isa ka sa mga sudyante ko na nabitin sa discussion because of our internet connectivity and with that, ito pong ating supplemental video for research methods. At ngayon, pag-uusapan lang muna natin yung ating introductory paragraph. That's why this is your research methods episode 1. Yung chapter 3 ng isang thesis ay naka-reserve para sa methodology or yung tinatawag din natin na methods. For other universities, ang term nila dyan ay materials and methods. Others naman will just use methods. The others will use methodology. Depending on the university, syempre kailangan sundin natin kung ano yung term nila for that chapter. But for ours, we're going to use methodology. So, syempre, katulad ng ibang mga chapters sa isang research or sa isang thesis, you have to start this chapter with an introductory paragraph. This introductory paragraph explains the different contents of the chapter or yung methodology nga. Tingnan natin tong example na to. This chapter presents the various research methods and procedures utilized in this study, the research design, population, student demographics, instrumentation, data collection, and methods of data analysis. The purposes of this study are to is an option for the researcher to include the different purposes or objectives of that research. And another example is this chapter presents the methodology and procedures used to achieve the study's objectives. Sources of data, participants of the study, sampling technique, data gathering procedure, research instrument, and statistical treatment of data are all included in this section. And our last example is, this chapter presents the methodology used in the study and tackles the research design, sources of data, data gathering procedures, sampling techniques, research instruments, and statistical treatment of data. Yan, nakita niyo na yung three examples ng ating introductory paragraphs. Ibig sabihin, kailangan include natin dito yung mga different subparts na isasama natin sa ating chapter. So, simulan natin sa social sciences. So, sabi dito na ang components ng chapter 3 for social science researches would be first, the research design, then the participants of the study, sampling technique, data to be gathered, statistical treatment of data, and also ethical considerations if applicable. Pag experimental research naman, nakahati ito sa dalawang major components. First would be the materials. Ito yung mga kakailanganin natin or mga gagamitin natin for the experiment. And then the second part would be the methods. And the methods will include the experimental design, the experimental treatments, yun may mga treatment A, treatment B, and then experimental layout, kung paano mo ilalatag yung experiments mo. The data to be gathered, ano ba yung particular na kukunin mo for that experiment. The analysis and statistical treatment of data. And also ethical considerations pa rin. Ay kasama pa rin po dito. Next would be action researches. Actually, itong action research na to, ako na yung naglatag nito. And kung nakita niyo na yung previous video ko, ito'y kinawa ko for the education students. Kinumbay ko yung conventions ng Department of Education plus yung ating social science research. So makikita niyo, nahahati ito sa dalawang parts. First would be the proposed innovation, invention, and strategy. Ito yung format na nanggaling sa DepEd. And then of course, yung sa atin, which is the methods. Still, andyan yung research design, participants of the study, sampling technique, data to be covered, statistical treatment of data, and also ethical considerations. Alright, I hope may natutunan po kayo for today, and that is how to create the introductory paragraph of your chapter 3. To help you, magpo-post na rin ako dito sa ating description box ng samples ng ating mga introductory paragraphs na pwede nyo gamitin, pero make sure that you have to revise it according to the different parts of your chapter 3. At Sundan niyo po yung ating videos kasi po ang next natin pag-uusapan ay kung paano isulat ang ating research design. 
I'll see you and I hope that you all have a beautiful day to learn. Once again, this is Abigail.